Hi, hi, hi. Hello friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this session, we will continue our previous SSCJ introduction to all electrical solutions, number 4. The question on the screen is, a D current losses in a ferromagnetic core is proposed to prove. The general formula given by Stemmel's equation, which is an empirical formula, it says that WE is proportional to so V max square into F square. So frequency square here. So from this formula we can say that the eddy current losses are proportional to F square here. Square of square root of frequency here. This way the answer is square of frequency. Sorry. The next question on the screen is Two inductors having self inductance of say L1 is 9 milli Henry and L2 is 25 milli Henry. The mutual inductance between these two, they have given M value also, M is nothing but 12 milli Henry. The coefficient of coupling between the two inductors is so K is equal to M divided by square root of L1, L2 which is anything but m is 12 into 10 power minus 3 divided by square root of 9 into 10 power minus 3 into 25 into 10 power minus 3 so that 12 divided by 3 into 5 is nothing but 12 divided by 15 which is you get is 0 0.8 and it have no units so answer is D here next question here is the magnetic material that are used to prepare the permanent magnets should have low coercive force steeply rising magnetization curve small hysteresis slope high retentivity so as you can see here this is the PH curve. In X axis we have taken H and in Y axis we have taken P here. So H is proportional to I. Even I is equal to zero, there is some magnetic field. We observe here, the so current is zero here. Even though the time we are having some magnetic field, that property is called retentivity. If you want to make permanent magnets, they should have, the metal should have high retentivity. That means it should act as a permanent magnet, not an electromagnet. So that it should be very high if you want to make a permanent magnet material. So the answer is high retentivity. Next question is, the poles of DC machines are often laminated to reduce hysteresis losses, eddy current losses, iron weight, armature reaction. So as you can see here, this is the pole of a DC machine and this is the pole core here so pole shoe here and this is a complete pole core here so as you can see they are laminated pole shoe here they are laminated to reduce eddy current losses always remember that any machine which are laminated means in order to reduce its eddy current loss The next question is universal motor is a dash motor is shunt motor series motor single phase induction motor or synchronous motor so first of all definition for universal motor means universal motor means it should work on the both the nature of supplies that is ac as well as dc okay so here the ac or dc supply if you observe Suppose that this is the armature winding and here we have sorry field winding this one this is field winding the field winding is connected in series with the armature winding here that means both armature winding and field winding so both are connected in series so that motors is called as series motors 
thank you friends thanks for watching my videos if you like my videos please subscribe and comment and share thank you have a nice day